हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी पोलर मॉडुलस दिस इज अनादर टर्म व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज्ड इन आवर टोर्शन ऑफ सर्कुलर शाफ्ट्स दैट इज कॉल्ड पोलर मॉडुलस वी हैव ऑलरेडी रेड पोलर मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया दैट इज डिफरेंट थिंग एंड दिस इज पोलर मॉडुलस पोलर modulus you must have read section modulus in the bending stresses the section modulus that is similar to polar modulus in torsion so what is that polar modulus polar modulus now in equation remember the torsion equation t by j tau by r g theta upon l remember this equation t by j tau by r g theta upon l in this equation in this equation torque we have find out the torque that was given by j by r tau right j by r tau right this was the torque at a certain radius the shear stress was at that radius right so if this is the stress then what is the maximum torque t max t max that is equal to j by capital r for a solid shaft and that is tau max right so this term this term what this term shows this term j by r this term is called polar modulus right and this term shows that if it is higher torque will be higher right so it represents the higher quantity of torque basically so that you can you can transfer solid shaft can transfer higher torque if the j by r quantity is higher so this j by r is called polar modulus polar modulus so it is denoted by z zp zp shows the polar modulus and simple z shows the section modulus we will be studies in bending stresses and that is equal to j by r right so this is j by r isn't it so if it is a solid shaft suppose we are studying a solid shaft if it is a solid shaft like this which has certain dia d and a torque is applied so what is the polar modulus for this shaft so polar modulus for this shaft is zp will be equal to j by r and you know in the polar moment of inertia this is polar moment of inertia and this is polar modulus so polar moment of inertia for uh, solid shaft is pi by 32 d to the power 4 divided by d by 2 so zp will be equal to pi by 16 d q so this is the polar modulus for solid shaft and for hollow shaft for hollow shaft what will be the polar modulus what will be the polar modulus for solid shaft hollow shaft hollow shaft so like this you have a hollow shaft i am making it drawing uh, many times because you may be able to make drawings very frequently because it is used very frequently and it is quite visible when you are making the drawings again and again so this is our hollow shaft so analysis becomes very easy when you make the drawings like this this is the outer radius outer dia capital d right so what is the polar modulus for this shaft hollow shaft right so what is polar modulus for hollow shaft so that i am i am writing here because we it is space is there so that p will be equal to j by r now r is the capital r outer radius of the hollow shaft right there are two radius outer radius of the hollow shaft so that will be equal to pi by 32 d to the power 4 minus d to the power 4 divided by capital d by 2 right so zp will be equal to for hollow shaft that will be equal to that will be pi by 16 
d to the power 4 minus d to the power 4 divided by capital D. So this is the polar modulus for hollow shaft. So you should remember two more equations. One is polar modulus for solid shaft and another is polar modulus for hollow shaft.